Hello everyone, in the last video we have seen how we can make navigation bar but we have seen that there are some underline under each text so we want to remove that underline for this we need to just style our style sheet ok we can just um, style our anchor tag there we can write text decoration equal to none that will solve our problem save it and refresh it you see there is no underline here and we can just now move this navigation bar to the right side of the website Inside the navigation tag, we will write float, then after a colon, write, then end it with a semicolon. Now save it and refresh it. For saving it, you can just press Ctrl plus S or you can manually save it. Now you see that the navigation bar actually came to the right side, it's floating to the right. Now let's make it as horizontal line. For this we will uh, style our list tag. So uh, inside the navigation there is a li tag then inside it write display equal to inline block. After saving it you can just refresh it and you see the tag is actually horizontal line. After this we will add some space between the words or between each navigation our word space will be ok word spacing let's give it 20 pixel or 30 pixel now you can see that there is some spacing between each word it looks good so now let's move it to the middle position of the header adds line height 50 pixel and here it is let's add some more okay add a padding here inside the nav tag we will add padding in each side top down and left and right 20 pixel in each side okay now let's make our line height a bit more higher let's add 70 yeah let's add a bit more 80 mm, after saving it now it looks all right now let's add our logo here in the left side for this we need to go to our index page again and before our navigation let's add an image for this image you need to actually have uh, save the image in a folder inside the inside the folder where you have actually saved all your code here all your code is here so you need to open a new folder and just name it something you want to let's name it images and inside this images you need to save the image uh, that you actually want to use inside the website all the image that you want to use you can save it here Okay, copy this and paste it inside this folder. So after it is done, you can just save the folder inside the main folder. Okay. So we will use this as our logo. So let's go to our code. The name is 9 and my file is a jpg file. So at first add your folder name. Mine is images. Make sure the name is alright or it won't find the folder. And then add a backslash and then add the picture name. Mine is 9.png. And now after refreshing you can see that the image is here but it is actually at the left side so make some space there add it a box here and take the image inside it and add a class name logo 
so that we can modify the logo class. For styling it, we can just go to our style sheet again and style our class logo. Add it into after footer, after footer, before our anchor tag styling. So let's add some padding here, padding on the left side only. Add 20 pixel or something that you think is okay. So it is all right now. But you see the navigation bar actually go down. So we need to make some other styling too. Let's float it to the left and the navigation bar to the right so that they are side by side. Now save it and refresh the website, our web page. You can see the change now. Okay, it's all right now. So now let's add something else under the logo here. Under the image tag, we will add a H1. Let's organize it a bit, and then. And the h tag and inside the h tag write our website name online library management system Okay, we cannot see it because we haven't actually given any color, so it is written in black. Let's style it, add style and then color and give it white. As the background is black, we can see it if the color is bright. You can add yellow or some other color too. Here it is. So now let's move our logo to the middle position of that H1 tag. <coughs> oh, the whole thing actually moved. We need to just move the logo, not the H1 tag. So inside the logo, only change our image, image tag. And then inside the second bracket, let's add the padding here. And let's add some padding into the logo too for H1 tag so that it is not at the left side. It has some space. Okay, now make it 20 pixel and for image it is 50. After refreshing it, you can see the image is actually came at the right. Okay, let's make it some more. Okay. It's almost right now okay let's add a background picture in our image section sorry in the section let's add a class for the styling purpose okay just we can just add a background picture in the section too just style the section tag and here let's add the background picture for this you need to write background image and then write url and the first bracket and after giving the first bracket write second okay write a quotation mark and then inside it your folder name then a backslash again and then you need to add the name of the picture that you want to add here Mine is one and a jpg file, so one dot jpg. Okay, so let's add. Okay, save it and refresh it. Now you can see the background picture is added. It looks quite good, but 
the image is a bit shorter right our image okay you can see the dimension here the height is 550 so let's actually change it our section was 450 but our image height is 550 so let's change our section height to 550 so that the whole picture can be seen 550 here and let's save it and refresh it now you can see the whole image is actually seen it looks good so now add a box here so that we can give the time period of the library when it is opened and when it is closed inside the div box okay name it as box and inside it we can write some h1 tag and let's say welcome to library And after that let's add a break to go to the next line and then another h1 tag and write opens at it's a 9 a.m. or just 9 then add another break here and close this set fifteen or three pm here I need to add a break and after this two add a break and tab and now you can see the okay you can see that at the left corner actually we can see whatever we have written now let's add a background color for this box or and let's style our box class add some height to it and some white to it okay at the end let's add dot box as it is a class you need to use a box I have said in my previous video too okay inside the box just add a height let's give it 300 400 um, add 300 actually and don't forget to write px okay then add a white uh, okay give it a white and Okay, 400, 450. Okay, and then add a background color. Let's say black, or we can add red so that we can see the change better. Yeah, now save it and refresh it. You can see so now let's move the box at the middle of the picture or middle of the section how can I do that let's style our box again inside the box we can just add a margin for adding margin you can add like margin top left right bottom okay but it will be a lengthy process so we can just write uh, auto for both side and for up and down we can give it a pixel you see that there is the whole section actually came down so we need to style the section to add margin top equal to 0 px so that the image doesn't came down come down only we need to just move the box only in the middle position of the section okay it doesn't change but yes we can just 
at some break after this section before the box class. It came a bit down. Now let's make the margin a bit more. I think it is okay now. Yeah, it looks in the middle. So now let's uh, move this writing in the middle position. For this, we can just um, go to our code and style the h1 tag. We can style each tag inside its opening opening tag only. So let's do it here. Style text align equal to center, and copy this for all three of h1 tag. So that all the writing will be in the center position. After pasting it, save it and refresh it to see the change. You see that all the writing our text actually came in the middle position. So now let's give it a font size like 35 pixel. Save it and refresh it. Yeah, it looks good. Now add some style to other H1 tag too. Let's give it font size as 20 px for both of them. Now save it again and refresh it. Okay, so it looks good. Now add some break before H1 tag will come to library so that that text actually came down come down a bit. And after it too for the next line to have some gap. Okay, yeah. And make the font size a bit higher little bit more almost 5 px so let's make them 25 now save it and refresh it yeah now it look good okay and now we can just change the opacity of our box so that we can see the picture in the background opacity let's give it 0.6 or 0.7 Save it and refresh it. Now you see the background is clear. We can just uh, change this uh, 2.8 so that it is a bit more clear or 0.6 so that the opacity is a bit more lower. Okay, huh? um, we can see the background picture more clearly now. Now we can add the color white so that the writing or the text is white and busy, more visible save it and refresh it you can see now we can just change this color for our box right click on the mouse and go to inspect and then you can go to the section inside the section after clicking it you will find the div box and when you click the div box in the style section on the left side you see in the dot box the styling for it is the background color is red after you click on that you can just click on that uh, sign and come here and click on any color so that the box color will change or you can just choose any color from the color section 2 or anywhere inside your web page if you touch anything 
the color will be changed okay you can just see it and when you actually like one color you can just take the hex code from that style section let's find a good color yeah let's say we want this color to be there so we just copy it and inside our style sheet in the background color we just paste it and save this and then again refresh it you see the color is changed this way you can change any background color or any color of any tag like footer header or anything you can change any color just go to inspect and change it like you can go to the footer section just press the tag name and then go to the style and when you find that square box you can just press it and then choose any color from anywhere in the web page or that color section then you can just copy that hex code here and then paste it inside your style sheet and then save it that way you can actually change your color it is really easy i think you have all understand very well that's all for today